intentions of pure love. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Helene Honey. If it's your first time here, then welcome. So you guys, the other night I was chilling. I had some free time at night and so I came across a documentary that TMZ released about Diddy. I know a lot of you guys, like most of the world, is aware of what happened between him and Cassie and that whole story dropped. It's an ongoing investigation right now. When the, when the story first came out, I didn't know about it because I try to do my best to avoid mainstream news. It's just always filled with negative, angry energy and I don't want to be focusing on that. I, I know for a fact that there's a lot of dark stuff that happens in the entertainment industry in general, whether it's the music industry, the film industry, there's a lot of evil stuff that happens there because spiritually, if you know, you know, there's just going to always be dark and light on earth so that you can make choices. But when you pay attention, when your third eye is open, when you become aware that, hey, why is there so much evil presented to us all of the time, constantly pushed in our face. It's not that you have to go searching for it or seeking it, it's instead pushed in your face. And so you have to protect your energy. You have to be mindful of what you consume. I watched a documentary on what happened. It was like an hour documentary on what happened. And it's interesting, you guys, when I was growing up, I thought I might be an entertainment journalist. I was fascinated with writing and communication and sharing, just like I'm with you guys right now. But I loved music, and so I thought, hey, like, let's talk about the, the stars, glitz and glamour, because I'm from LA, and so it was always right around the corner, Burbank and San Fernando Valley, downtown LA and Hollywood. Growing up in the 90s, Diddy, you know, Bad Boy Records and West Coast versus East Coast, Tupac, Biggie, all that stuff was popular. So everybody knew who Puff Daddy was, right? We called him Puff Daddy back then. He's had a few names since then, right? And so I was interested in the documentary because I was a fan of him growing up, a fan of his music. And I even had a crush on him when I was in fifth grade <laughs> and I made people call me Puff Mommy. So, you know, <laughs> it was so funny. And I remember even a, just a few years ago following him on Instagram and um, I had got some weird vibes. So I unfollowed. When the story came out, I was shocked, but I really couldn't be surprised. You guys, I want you to remember that what we call celebrities they are just normal people like me and you and after seeing that it reminded me why I created this channel and what I'm here to like really share with the world which is like why we need healing everyone you have to heal so that you stop hurting others I was disturbed by these allegations what has allegedly happened between him and his ex-girlfriend and a lot of other people but i'm not fully surprised because hurt people hurt other people and we are all connected and so we have to take responsibility for our own healing or else we're going to hurt others and so this video is not really about any specific person it's not about their situation but more so like what we can learn from it as a collective like as people on earth right because a lot of times we have this idea that what we do only affects us but it's not true whether it's a celebrity or your next door neighbor or your child your husband yourself whatever you do it affects everyone else so it's not just about us we're connected whether we like it or not it's just that celebrities are put in the limelight so their faults and their mistakes and their behavior is highlighted and i don't believe that we should be celebrating anybody's downfall celebrating anybody's pain anybody's trauma you know like um i'm really proud of cassie for standing up for herself and speaking up because it's important and it's given other people a chance to hear and see the reality of what 
all kinds of people go through in silence. So when you are a so-called celebrity, you have the chance to have your voice heard. You have to heal so that you stop hurting others. When I was listening to the documentary, a part that stood out to me was when they were talking about uh, Diddy's upbringing in New York and how his father was murdered when he was only three years old. Okay, and so when I talk about healing on this channel, it's going to look different for everybody individually. <clears throat> when we don't deal with unresolved, when we have unresolved pain that we're carrying, it doesn't go away until you deal with it. And it's very hard to let something go that you refuse to deal with. And so it could be something big, it could be something small, but when we just try to ignore pain, when we try to ignore things that have really shaken our world up, we're gonna push that pain and put that pain on other people. A lot of times it's those closest to us. There are so many tragic stories of like Marvin Gaye, Selena, where people closest to them killed them, right? And so, because they were carrying pain, so whether it's something like jealousy, whether it's something like anger, whatever issues, like we have to face them within ourselves or else we're going to hurt people, even people we love. You have to heal so that we stop hurting other people and you know, the entertainment industry, it's painted as one thing, but I know there's a lot of dark stuff that happens behind the scenes. And so there's talk about, like, for example, Diddy's sexuality and things like that, what he's maybe done to other people, but we don't know what he's gone through either. And so I'm not here to defend anyone. I'm just saying that when we don't face ourselves, we're going to lash out on others and anger is a human emotion it's very real i don't care if you're buddha right like no matter who you are we have our emotions are powerful and so we have to be able to face ourselves and take control of our own emotional state and face things that have hurt us i know some people like to detach from their emotions but for me, I've found it to be powerful to feel them because you honor yourself in that way. You validate yourself in that way. Like, okay, something crazy has happened to me or I've experienced some type of pain in my life. Let me go back to that place and just deal with it. When you don't deal with it, you're carrying it year after year, day after day, and it's going to come out in one way or another. And so it's okay to feel pain. It's okay to feel mad or sad or grief or anger, rage. They're just emotions. We are not our emotions, but we honor ourselves by acknowledging it, validating ourselves to be like, wow, like I'm allowed to be mad, sad frustrated you know feeling grief feeling pain I'm, a, I'm allowed to and validate yourself and be in that resolve it be there for yourself it's no one else's like job or responsibility to do this for you no one else can do it for you it's a very individual thing and so we all have things in our past that maybe we're ashamed of or that we wish went differently things that we experienced when we were kids or older things that were outside of our control or things that we chose to do but it's okay like this is your own personal path in life a lot of times we've agreed to things before we even incarnated because it was teaching us spiritual lessons like when something happens truly unfair in your life that you deem to be unfair it happened for a reason so that you could learn what compassion is sometimes forgiveness doesn't mean that the other party involved is sorry it just means that you have learned to be stronger than the problem and found love in your heart can you do it it's not easy to do but it's possible and when you tap into love and when you tap into forgiveness when you tap into compassion 
you're gonna build inner strength and you're gonna rise above it. You're gonna soar up in the sky and you're going to learn to let it go. But it doesn't mean it's an easy process, but what so many people on earth do is we pretend and we've been taught to ignore ourselves, ignore how we feel, who cares how you feel, get over it. Bad things happen to everyone. So, oh well, there's a lack of compassion, a lack of empathy, a lack of love. For self, we've been taught that, oh, if you're focused on yourself, you're selfish. If you focus on yourself, you're whatever. Just focus outward and be tough and strong. But true inner strength is about being gentle with yourself, softness and love within now that strength can you do it can you face yourself can you be there can you be vulnerable with you it's not about others it's about you when you give yourself grace to just be a whole mess it's just in the moment it doesn't define you we're so many things we're just experiencing emotions we're just experiencing life events they don't have to define you and it is not all that you are but it's a part of your process if you, because we have decisions to make. So are we going to let our pain, like, are we going to learn to heal it and overcome it, persevere? Or are we going to let it, like, ruin us, stifle us, cause other pain? When, when we don't deal with the pain that we have endured in life, when we don't deal with it, we continue to pass it on and it multiplies because we're connected. And so in a relationship like with Diddy and Cassie, I'm sure somewhere in there, there was a feeling of love that they had for one another, but it was mishandled, right? And so that's what we have to learn to take accountability for ourselves and humble ourselves and it's about choosing your spirit over your ego mm. we're getting deep on today's video you guys which i love to do <laughs> nah it's like real and it's i love sharing with you guys what i've learned on my journey and so what has helped me truly to just feel happier inside and inner peace it's really beautiful it is a sacred personal journey but you can do it too. We all can. And so when I see stories like that, yeah, it's super crazy, but deeper, I live deeper. And I know that as humans, we all have these egos, which are like the exterior, but it's not who we really are. And our mistakes don't define us now. If you've gone through something crazy, I do want to, I do want to point this out. Yes, compassion. Yes, love, forgiveness, the higher road. A lot of times the higher road looks like boundaries, setting boundaries, self-respect, learning how to walk away. When I see something like this from Cassie's perspective of what she may have meant to learn, what she was probably meant to learn through a situation like this is tapping into her inner strength by walking away, by choosing herself by so many spiritual lessons and I uh, some of the things that I've seen in this life you guys where yeah you have you should have compassion and love later on but first the lesson is learning to respect yourself by walking away from people who continuously hurt you and I mean real abuse you guys <laughs> I don't mean you guys being frustrated because Am I going to date this guy or not? That's not abuse. I'm talking about physical abuse. I'm talking about sexual abuse. I'm talking about really dark, evil things. Grown-ups messing with young kids and, you know, just violence. Bad things. Truly painful things. The higher perspective is, oh, people hurt people because they're hurting inside. Yeah, but if you find yourself or have found yourself in a situation like that, 
when I say compassion, love, forgiveness, I don't mean you stick in that situation and just endure it. No, I mean the spiritual lesson and the growth happens when you can separate from it. Heal. Heal yourself so that you stop hurting others. Heal yourself for, for you. So this means self-love. Facing our own darkness, taking accountability, but also being able to see the human in others. Choosing yourself, your own wellness, your own well-being, your own chance and opportunity to thrive in life. So boundaries are important. Boundaries for yourself help you protect yourself, help you to be the emperor in your own life or empress of your own life. Being able to distinguish healthy connections and relationships from unhealthy ones and moving from a place of love for others, but first for self. How can we really love others or be connected to people in healthy ways if we don't first love ourselves and respect ourselves and have a healthy connection to ourselves, And so that's why I love sharing with you guys about self-love because it matters. It's number one. It's important. Any other relationship in your life, it stems from the one you have with yourself, even with Diddy and Cassie, right? Because if you're feeling chaotic inside and you have unresolved issues inside, now the relationships in your life, they're branching from that. Think of yourself as a tree with deep roots and all the relationships in your life are the leaves on that tree. So you have to take care of the roots, like you have to take care of you inside your internal world, your state of being first. It's gonna affect everything else. And so same thing with Cassie, right? Because you wanna be in a healthy mental space. You just wanna take care of you, you guys, okay? And so I hope that something in this video resonated for you. I'm sending you so much power on your journey, so much healing and so much love. Take care of yourself and I'll see you in my next video.